One of the things I'd like to show you is the effects of flow control. And flow control is often confused with cushion. Flow control will actually slow down the effect of the cylinder. And where the flow controls are, are exterior of the cylinder in this area right here. And with it all the way out, meaning no effect, it's, it's turned counterclockwise. Now I'll turn it in uh, about uh, three turns clockwise. There's half, full, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I'll go over here and do the same on the extend side. Half, full, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Now we'll take a look in the effect of that. Again, we're a lot slower, but you can hear that the cylinder is impacting the end of the of the end cap. Now oftentimes maintenance people will get called out because the cylinder is not working correctly and the first thing they'll do is turn the flow controls all the way out. Well that does affect timing because obviously the cylinder is coming back, going out and coming back in faster if you turn these little screws out. So that is that is uh, flow control. Now uh, here I'll actually take the flow controls now and turn them back out where they were. Half, full, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, all the way out. Half, full, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, all the way out. And again, I'll show you now that we'll be operating a lot faster. Ready? All right, now we'll talk about the cushions. The cushions are located actually in the end cap and how you access the cushion, you actually have to, you have to get to the bottom. What we'll do here on our little test bed is we'll, we'll take our vice grips off. Okay, once you've got the cylinder disconnected, now you'll take it and turn it up. And what I'm gonna show you here is where the, where the cushion is. You see that little screw right in there? That's your cushion. Now, right now, your cushion is all turned all the way out. In other words, there is no cushion. So I'm gonna turn it all the way in for you and you can see the effects of cushion. I got half, full, one and a half, two. About two and a half is all this one will do. Now we'll go over to this side here. Here's our cushion control right there. And we'll go on here and we'll go half, Full, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, about three and a half turns on that one. Now again, we have the cushions all the way turned in. And what you're gonna notice is that the, the action of the extend and retract is going to be fast, but you'll also notice that it doesn't slam on, into the ends of the cylinder. And in other words, it's not hitting the end caps and causing damage to the cylinder. So we'll get our clamps back on here. And now I'll hit the... You can actually see it return slow. See it return slowly? That is saving your cylinders. That, because you have all this impact force, all this inertia coming back in and hitting that end cap with the piston that's inside the cylinder. And, Literally, the cylinder will beat itself to death if you don't have those cushions turned in. I like to turn the cushions all the way in. Obviously, you can see that it, it takes a little bit of the stroke away, but only a very little bit. And it'll save this cylinder immeasurable amounts of wear. As far as the flow control, there's several different ways to adjust how fast the the, uh, the cylinder activates. You can adjust the flow controls here. You can also just simply turn down the pressure. Now, here we can turn down the pressure, take it from 80, I'll go down to say, here's 60. Okay, at 60 PSI, it's not near as fast.
Doesn't slam near as hard, but you'll notice that the cushions still have their effect.